So this is a Matsura H plus 400. Dominic, I see a lot of these horizontals in the marketplace. Not often with the, um, the, the palletization that you've got here. Tell us a little bit about why you've got this added to this machine. Well, what we've got here is, again, on our horizontal lineup, with the success of the MAM 72 power pallet system, the 32 pallet, and again, we offer different derivatives on all the five axis machines. Over the last few years, we've now added this to our horizontal line. So what you get is obviously on our 400 and 500 pallet machines is 15 and 12 pallet solutions, giving you the capability of multi-loading, leaving jobs set, and creating that vending machine type solution that will have been doing on our five axis machines for the last 20 years. I think this is all about education because the more I talk to yourselves and, and other people about the automation and palletization of machines, I can't see why you wouldn't add something like this to a machine of this speed and nature. Would I be right? No, I agree, and I think it is about education. I mean, we recently got a new customer only a few weeks ago that has gone away from a pallet pool to a pallet tower, and what they liked about it was that within the same footprint as a pallet pool, they could have more pallets, which meant more lights out running, and for them, weekend unmanned running with nobody coming to intervene to the machine all weekend. So the pallet tower, essentially, it, it, means you've got more pallets in, in, the, in a, the same uh, footprint, correct? Correct, yeah. I mean, on this machine, if we look at a pallet pool, which is six pallets, compared to a 12 pallet tower, it takes up no more room. Right, so there's no reason not for go, to, to go for the 12. Let's come back to the machine. Let, t tell me about some of the reasons why the Matsura is a special horizontal. Again, speed, accuracy, quality of build, reliability. When you put a pallet system onto a machine tool, you have to have a reliable base in which to put the pallet system on. Because obviously if the machine isn't reliable, can run 24 hours, seven days a week, the, the pallet system has no purpose. And how, how, do you, how do you get those special characteristics on a machine like this? Do you build your own spindles? Do you, do you make your own castings? How does all that work? It all starts with the build, obviously, the quality of build, the attention to detail, the manual hours of scraping, aligning the, the slideways, the ball screws, the housings. Is that still a practice technique at Matsura? Absolutely. That is a fundamental base of our product, is the pedigree of the way we build machine tools. It's, you might call it old school, but it's what makes the brand what the brand is today. And when you make a machine like that, it's, there's still no compromise in the speed, is there? Because I've seen these things move, and they ain't half fast. They are, and the thing is, the faster you go, the more accurate the alignments need to be. And the more you've got to feed it. Well, that's the whole point of buying a multi-pallet, multi-tool machine, is to feed it and make a lot of money. You must sell a lot of these, do you, in the UK? Because you're carrying these in stock as well, aren't you? We sell a fair few, yeah. And for people that might say, well, actually, I look at this solution, then this is really what I need, but again, is, is it out of my league cost-wise? Good question. No, it's not, because at the end of the day, we actually sell a lot of these machines to very small SMEs, small subcontracting shops, family-run businesses that enab enables their business to grow, not increase headcount, but make the bottom line a lot healthier. And I think it all comes down to as well, people often say, well, I have to be, I don't have 5,000 off and 2,000 off and 10,000 off. With this sort of solution, you don't need that, do you? You can, you can have smaller, smaller quantities and still be loaded, programs change, different jobs run all the time. Actually, that is, that is the justification that we, that we normally get a customer to buy on because the biggest thing today in a, in a job shop environment is the setup time especially on a vertical or even a twin pallet horizontal, is the amount of time customers take changing over from one job to the next and they never get that spindle cut time back. With a pallet solution, a tool solution, you can create this vending, vending machine style approach where you can have all your jobs set up that are weekly, bi-weekly, monthly, bi-monthly call off, ensuring that the spindle is continuously running and producing. Therefore, this, this investment, yes, it's more money than a twin pallet machine, granted, but it will make far more when that spindle continuously cuts.